Hello everybody and welcome to a new little tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. In this tutorial we'll be mainly looking at something called the Live Paint tool but we'll also be doing a bit of the bit of pen tool tuition here as well. Um, this is a good little project to do with people just starting out in Adobe Illustrator. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this image here which I've drawn and scanned in and then just placed on my document and we're going to trace over it and then create what's called a live paint group and that will allow us to colour it in. You'll see as we go along. Okay, first thing to do then, I've already placed it on layer one and I've already locked the layer there. So we need a new layer because we can't do our drawing on the same layer as our sketch. So I've now got layer two, which is the red one. The first thing to do then, I'm going to zoom in a bit. So press Z on the keyboard or you can just click on the magnifying glass there. I'm going to zoom in to its head. Okay, any time when you want to move the screen around, if you just hold down the space bar, you can just move it all around so you can see what you're doing. Okay, all we have to do is trace over these lines using any of the drawing tools you like. Um, I tend to use the pen, pen tool um, because it gives the best results, I think. Um, so if I just click there, it generates an anchor point, and then I'm going to click up there, and then I'm going to click that I'm holding and I'm dragging out and you can see I've got these handles okay the handles allow me to move the line around um, and they also allow me to curve the line release and now that's started to fill in so what I'm going to do is come down to my colors and just swap these over this black square is the fill color and this uh, white square is the stroke color if I just swap those over now I have no fill with a black line, so that's what that looks like now. All right, now I'm going to go around this antenna thing here. So if I try and curve that, can you see how that's not working? It's not working because the line is trying to follow that handle. So I'll get rid of that, and then what I've got to do is convert this anchor point into a different anchor point. So you just click on it again. One of the handles disappears, and that means you can come off almost at a right angle from the other anchor point. And I should be able to go more or less around there. There we are. Click on that anchor point, come down here. There we go, so that's that done. Um, so now I need to deselect that. The easiest way i found is just to click on nothing and then click back on your pen tool. Um, Let's do his head. Try that again. Let's start down here. Click there, go up to the top, click and drag. You get it about right. There we go. I'm going to go back to the anchor point, take away one of the handles, go about halfway around again. Drag back to the anchor point down to the bottom. Click and drag. Oh, I didn't have to drag that very much, that worked out nicely. Back to that anchor point, and then I'm going to join it up. You can see the circle. I can just drag that edge. Okay, so there's the head. That's good enough. Deselect that line. Grab my pen tool again. Let's do the eye so to the top. Click and drag. Maybe that one could just go, yeah, that just works. There we are. Keep going round, clicking and dragging, and go back to the beginning. Okay, that's that eye done. Deselect the pen tool again. Just click there, and then click and drag. Click and drag. It's probably about right there. Click and drag. It doesn't matter if you don't get it exactly right because click there and get rid of that. Go back to the beginning. 
because uh, at the end we're going to take away the drawing anyway and just have, have our tracing left. So we don't need to be completely accurate. And I'm not going to do everything here because it's going to take too long. So I'm just going to do the head. I'm just going to do these eyelids. And the pupils. Click and drag. Click and drag. Okay, now that will do for me, otherwise it's going to take too long. But you, of course, would carry on and do the whole thing, all the lines. Um, and here comes the fun part. What you do now is you just select all the lines you've done. So in your case, you would select the whole character. And then you get the live paint tool, which is hiding under this thing here called the shape builder. So if you click and hold, you get the live paint bucket. And you move it across until it says, click to make a live paint group. And you click it. And it's basically done. And now as I move my mouse around, you can see each, each individual section lights up. And in order to pick a color, you can just use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And you see it changes the color over the, the paint pot. And now I just click and it just colors it in. And I might give them some blue eyelids. Okay. And I might give him some pink antennae. I've only done the one. And I think his pupils need to be black, so let's go back to black. Which is... oh, I can't find the black. If you can't find the colour you want, you can of course just go up to swatches, which is here. There's black there. Let's click on that. You've got black. And I better make the inside of his eyes white. Okay, and that's basically it. Uh, you might want to go to your layers panel and just switch off the eye for layer one. It just takes away um, the drawing underneath. And that's really all it is. And what you end up with a really nice cartoony sort of drawing and the kids really like to color it in and do all that kind of stuff okay that's the end